Hello, and thank you for watching this video presented by Kepware Technologies. This video will give a high-level overview of the new product features in KepServer EX version 510. The new release includes additional user interface or UI functionality, as well as a new ADB total flow driver. Also, our electronic flow measurement or EFM offering has been improved by adding EFM support for our Fisher Rock Rock Plus drivers and options for CSV and PGAS data output formats. Communication serialization options have been added to the server as well. Finally, CapServer EX v510 now also supports the newest Rockwell firmware, v21. First, let's review the UI changes in version 510. The standard project view offered in previous versions of CapServer EX shows an alphabetical list of channels in the project tree. Two new project views have been added to give the user extra organizational power. The Organize by Driver view allows users to visualize their projects based on driver type groupings. For example, all ABB TotalFlow channels and devices are listed under this driver type. Also, the new Organize by Connection view lets the user see what connections are shared and what network interface cards and virtual networks are being used. Users can drag and drop items into connections groups as needed. Note also that the detail view has been enhanced to show more information on device connections as well. The new detail view columns will be displayed until a channel or device is selected. At that time, the display will revert to the regular device or tag information. Beyond being helpful visual aids, these organizational views help users easily build projects and diagnose problems. For large projects, users can easily configure devices using the same driver quickly without sifting through a large list of channel names. If a network interface is failing, users can easily see what devices depend on that interface with the Organize by Connection view and correct the issue quickly. Now let's move on to the new driver in this release, the ABB TotalFlow driver. This is a new premium driver to support ABB TotalFlow's native serial protocol. With this initial release, the driver supports the DB2 protocol, which some refer to as the packet-oriented protocol. The devices that use this protocol are late generation 2, gen 3, and gen 4 devices. This driver can obtain both real-time and electronic flow measurement data. Like all KepServer EX device drivers, the ABB TotalFlow driver can pull devices for value, quality, and timestamp data. Also, registers may be accessed using auto tag generation. To auto generate tags, simply go to the database creation tab in device properties and click Auto-Create. There is no need to import tags from file or be connected to a device to create these tags. Device setup data such as H2S content and measurement information such as flow period are examples of real-time data accessible on the ABB device using the Auto-Tag Generation tool. Also, users can handle device failover with media level redundancy. Switch over to a redundant device or between redundant connections to the same flow computer. This driver also supports the creation of virtual networks, a setting accessible in the Channel Properties Advanced tab. ABB Total Flow devices have several unique settings different from other flow devices, and our driver needs to know how these settings are configured for proper device communication. In the Settings tab located in the Device Properties window, the user can optimize communication with the device using register request blocking. Register blocking is controlled with two settings in the driver, register block size and registers request slash packet. In register block size, specify how many individual registers can be read in a single request. In this case, 10 individual registers can make up one register block. In register request slash packet, specify how many register blocks make up one packet transaction. Increasing the number of registers that can be read in a single transaction pull increases the driver data efficiency. This is useful for remote applications with communication interference issues, where more data may need to be read at one time in case of a communications loss. If the device uses a security code, 
This must be entered in the driver device settings, otherwise leave it at the default. One feature of the ABB Total Flow device is the ability to put it in a low power mode. This is called link time. Enter this time in the Device Properties Settings tab. Otherwise, if it is not configured on the device, leave link time at zero. After the correct settings have been entered, simply add the necessary EFM meters for the Total Flow device. For simplicity, we suggest that the names configured in KepServer EX match the names that were configured on the Flow Computer configuration software, although this is not required. For example, this user has set up 7 meters, meter 1 through meter 7, in their PCCU software, and those meter names and meter order would correspond to the names and order in KepServer EX. Finally, time synchronization gives users an actual level of accuracy when recording data in remote locations, where the device time may not match the time on the measurement server. Users can choose to sync the device clock with the system clock once daily, or at a set interval, such as once every hour. Along with the ABB Total Flow driver, this new release includes additional enhanced EFM functionality. As demonstrated with the ABB Total Flow driver, KepServer EX adds the valuable advantage of pulling archived measurement data. This functionality was added to the Fisher Rock and Rock Plus device drivers, which is especially helpful with the Fisher Rock devices that can work as PLCs and as flow computers. This is in addition to the NROD Modbus and Omni Flow computer drivers that were developed in our 5.9 release. New CSV and PGAS export formats are also available in addition to the existing FlowCal format included with the original EFM exporter plugin. This diverse suite of measurement drivers and file formats is useful for those companies with a wide range of hardware and software, or those companies that may acquire assorted assets in the future. Real-time and measurement data are available on the same platform and may be tunneled to remote sites using OPC UA or used for SCADA operations using OPC DA. Let's explore the new Fisher Rock Rock Plus measurement capabilities which includes logging configuration, alarm, event, and history information per meter. Begin polling data by simply adding the Fisher Rock Rock Plus meters to the EFM exporter in KepServer EX. The configuration of the Fisher Rock Rock Plus device through the server is minimal, as much of this is fixed given the specific device model. Supported device models include those listed here. Now, let's go to the EFM Exporter plugin to explore the added functionality for reporting measurement data. Go to the View Selector and select EFM Exporter. Similar to FlowCal, PGAS is a gas accounting software product that customers may use. The EFM Exporter supports up to PGAS V8 formats. PGAS uses separate output files for each data type, with different extensions for event, alarm, analysis, and volume data. The PGAS exporter can be configured to log hourly and daily data, or both at the same time, in the following time formats, device time, UTC, and local system time. Users may choose the location and name of each EFM data file and may also use file wildcards to segment files and folders into useful subcategories. Wildcards include meter name, exporter name, and record or system time in gear, month, day, hour, and minute. Beyond PGAS and FlowCal, this measurement data is valuable to customers outside of this accounting software. A user may create a custom in-house application to analyze this data separately. Because each application may support a different file layout a customizable CSV output format was added to Kepware's EFM exporter. The user defines the CSV headers or column names and may also import column names and column order from an existing CSV file with header information. Users have complete control over file format and may map any EFM attribute to any column. Also, the same file wildcards can be used to segment record files and folders. 
A unique file extension other than .csv may be used if necessary. The CSV exporter also allows daily and hourly reporting formats for historical records. As with other exporting formats, the CSV exporter supports record times relative to the following, device time, UTC, and local system time. Lastly, users can easily implement multiple EFM exporters, CSV, FlowCal, and PGAS simultaneously. These exporters can be used for multiple meters as well. A meter is added by simply browsing to the device in the project. The last feature of the new release of CapServer EX v510 is the ability to serialize communications over one communication medium. Telemetry applications including oil and gas, water, wastewater, and power industries often require the ability to share communications hardware such as radio modems and dial-up modems. These telemetry networks typically have bandwidth limitations, but need a reliable way to collect data from a range of remote devices. Multiple communication channels need to take turns communicating over these networks. CapServer EX enables drivers to share the same serial COM port or to serialize communication over a network in order to meet this telemetry need. The connection sharing option allows channels of the same or different protocol to share a COM port. Under serial port settings in the communication tab of the channel properties, the shared text will appear if the port is being shared with another channel. Remember, users can drag and drop channels into connection groups as needed. The baud rate, data bits, parity, stop bits, and other COM port settings must be consistent for all devices on the shared serial port. The user may specify up to 999 different COM port connections in a single server instance. Opening the Quick Client, we see that new system tags were also added to expose the COM serialization information to any client. Tags like underscore network owner let the user track which channel is actively using the port. For example, if the ABB Total Flow Ethernet channel had ownership of the network, this Boolean would be set to 1. Different from COM port sharing, virtual networks allow the serialization of communication over the same network interface card or NIC in a round-robin style. Users can create up to 50 separate virtual networks and have control over which channels and devices have network priority. This functionality was already available for several drivers before CapServer EX v510, but several more drivers were added to that list in this release. The full list is shown here. That concludes the feature tour of the new release of CapServer EX v510. Remember, CapServer EX is able to serve your real-time data capture and measurement needs all using the same server platform, making this data available to any OPC-enabled software. Thank you for your time and interest. Please contact our sales or support teams for additional information. Visit kepware.com to download a free, fully functional two-hour product demo.